Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel called Teresa Jackson the Cerebral Palsy Sketch Artist. I hope everyone is well. Today I am going to talk about my idea of an art project. I am a professional sketch artist and have been doing this for five years. I sketch things like animals, buildings, portraits and many more. During the lockdown of 2020 I made my website called Awesome Arts to showcase my artwork and to try and sell my artwork. Also, the other reason that I have my website is because I have always been highly determined to achieve to be a professional artist despite having cerebral palsy, borderline personality disorder and type 1 diabetes. I have always wanted to raise awareness for disability artists because I feel that they don't get recognized enough unlike other artists that are out in the art community world. I got into art when I studied level 1 art and design at a college called Trelaws in Hampshire which has their own boarding houses for students who have physical and complex needs and enables young people to have a mainstream education that they are entitled and desire to have. I then moved to support services which enabled me to become more independent. Over the years I have learned to go out independently and cook along with many other things. During this time, I carried on doing art because it helped my mental health. I tried many types of art and soon after I learned that sketching was the style for me and to this day it still is. Anyway. I practiced sketching every day until one afternoon I thought to myself that my artwork is good and that I should design my own website to showcase my artwork. I have never thought to this day that I have the idea to create my own art project. The reason why I made this video is because I would like to share my art fundraiser and project with you all. The reason for this art project and fundraiser is because I would like to raise awareness of disabled artists across the United Kingdom and for other artists in care companies and other services to come out and showcase some of their artwork and artistic skills that they may have hidden in them. However, like many artists young or old, they may find it too hard to come out and show their talent and art because they don't think that they are a good enough artist or that the artwork is not good enough to present to people or the world. But some people may think that the artwork is amazing, and the artist finds it hard to believe because their inner beliefs get on top of the artist. This is why artists with disabilities are more likely to not come out until someone like a parent or a support worker suggests or encourages them to do so. Therefore, this is partly the definition for my reason to make an art project and fundraiser to raise awareness around artists with disabilities and to enable the people who would like to become an artist despite the disability that will bring them good benefits and achievements when you act on the dreams that you would like to bring to life. <laughs> Hence why I am where I am today. My aim for the art project in the future is to keep it going and maybe to spread it around different care companies so that they can have a chance to participate in something wonderful and creative and to enable them to have an opportunity to exhibit their own artwork in an exhibition. But this is way further down the line because I would like to focus on making it successful so that we can do this exciting and wonderful new art project professionally and at a slow and steady time frame for us to get this right. In terms of an equality and diversity point of view, I think that this will open the floor to other companies and galleries who may in the past discriminate against those artists who have a disability because they look at them and think that individuals won't understand the purpose of doing an art exhibition. But little do they know that the artist understands everything that is going on and that they create amazing and creative pieces of artwork made with their own hearts and talented hands. However, Despite all this the price to take part in an exhibition is very expensive for artists that have disabilities who really want to put their own artwork in an exhibition, but they can't afford to apply because it is expensive for them to take part. 
Or another example is that some artists may apply for an exhibition thinking that it is free to them and when they finally speak to the organizer that is in charge, they come to find out that they must pay, and the price is a fair amount of money which people cannot afford. If we could make a creative difference by doing artwork then we may help uplift people's mental health, well-being and connect other care services and residents together through the Art and Possibilities project and we are highly successful. Then we can do other projects and activities together, then we can feel more connected to one another and build our very own artist with a disability community. I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you all soon.